trying to take your training to the next level and you want to increase your speed, your power, your conditioning, then you got to check out Phil Daru's eight-week heavy hitter boxing program. I'm telling you guys right now, and it's no joke. Hi, I'm Angie, and you're watching Dante's Dante, Dante's Boxing. with Mauricio Suleiman. A lot of things with the WBC, uh, the way Mauricio is moving these belts, is kind of, it's, it's frustrating. It really is because I am the undisputed lightweight world champion and, and there's others that are saying I'm not. So it is frustrating at that point. But uh, however, you know, Devin Haney with the WBC, he had, um, he had, I guess he won the interim, correct? Yeah, I won the interim, and for some reason, I never petitioned, though. You know that, right? I never petitioned for the uh, franchise belt, ever. Uh, what Mauricio said is, winner takes that belt. Lomachenko did what he had to do. He did what he did. Doesn't reflect on me. He had the WBC championship uh, when he beat Luke Campbell for the vacant one, and um, he is the rightful WBC world champion. The only thing is that they elevated uh, Devin Haney. And um, I don't think that uh, that he has the, the actual belt. I believe he has an email belt. <laughs> uh, Tio Lopez, he recently had an interview with Brian Custer in which okay. he stated he did not petition for the WBC the franchise belt. So what's your take on that? That's absolutely incorrect, right? Because with the franchise, with the franchise designation, you have to petition. It's not something that they just award you or just bestow upon you you have to have it part of your plan when you're moving as a as a champion it has to be somewhere in your plans that okay can i get the franchise designation to make a different fight happen so i don't have to do my mandatory and that's what lomachenko did now when tiafimo got the franchise when he applied when he applied for the franchise designation it had to be applied before the fight happened. So he applied for it, and you can look at you can look it up. But you just type it in. Uh, Lopez applies for franchise designation with top rank to the WBC, and once you do that, then you automatically let them know that you don't want to fight the WBC champion, not right now. But they respect you enough. It has enough respect on a designation that it gives you an opportunity to fight at a later date. So it's not like an old school where you just get stripped or you just um, you just vacate the belt. You vacate the belt with honors, you know. So that's what so, they've they've allowed for those champions. In other words, it's another way to save face. Obviously, but that's but, the case. But see, but see, with you, and you know, I'm I'm always optimistic about, about the franchise designation in the sense of that the people are the ones that make the fight happen. So, with Tiafimo's franchise designation, he can right now say, "I want to fight Devin Haney, and I want to make this fight for everything." And you know what I mean. For that, you know what I mean. We we would understand that you know. Tiafimo would be taking on a big challenge. But like he said, it, he said before, you know, I think it was earlier today or yesterday, you know, you take chances, you know, to get big rewards. So we know that that's not a fight that is the best style matchup for Tio. You know what I mean? But, you know, the people know and bo the boxing community knows that, you know, that will be, that's the fight to be made right now yes, in the sir, lightweight yes, division. For all marvels, for all belts, but it's true, undisputed. You have to see it. To give Tio the benefit of the doubt, is it possible that he's not informed that maybe top rank petition for the belt without his permission? You can't do that. You can't, as a, as a company, as a company petition without a fighter to the fight, agreeing to the terms of it as a company, you know, and a promoter. You can't, you can't do that. Just to make it clear, as a CEO of DH Promotion, that you're the president of, you won't petition for a title like that without Devin Haney blessings or permission. Oh, absolutely right? not. Absolutely not. It's the same thing for T.O. and top rank, right? Yeah, but but Mauricio had said that Tiafimo Lopez, him himself, and he also said Vasil Lomachenko, both him himself had petitioned and understood what the petition was and, and understood what they were doing.
Right. I, I was trying to obviously give Tia the benefit of the doubt, but either way you look at it, it don't make no sense. Uh, so <laughs> we have uh, a super chat. Is there such thing as a heavyweight franchise belt? Uh, you know what? It's 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 strictly upon the fighter and the fighter's um, team in terms of picking that route and what they're going that route and why would they put the franchise tied to their you know to their fighter or whatever you know. So it's a case by case basis according to what I'm hearing, and um, I think as as of now, Canelo, Lomachenko, and Teofimo Lopez are are the only franchise champions that the WBC has had since they've started the uh, the belt. Right. So when it comes to, uh, obviously, two fighters that had the franchise belt at 135, Lomachenko did. Uh, Wilder, you know, I think Wilder was offered the belt, and he didn't take it. He didn't want it. Because he wanted to fight his mandatories, right? Right. Uh, when it comes <clears throat> to the lightweight division, though, we know we had two franchise champions, which is Lomachenko and, obviously, Tio Lopez. Now, Tio, all he had to do was beat Kome to earn a shot with Lomachenko. But Devin Haney has to work for a half a decade in order to earn a shot with Tio Lopez. Now, for the people that say, oh, well, Devin Haney haven't fought this guy, Devin Haney <laughs> fought that guy, Tio is making it clear. It don't matter who Devin Haney fight next. It don't matter who Devin Haney fight next year. It don't matter who Devin Haney fight for the next four years. He has to work for a half a decade to earn a shot with Devin Haney. Does that mean he recognized Devin Haney as the most dangerous rival of his because he's treating him in such a manner like that? I because think, obviously, Theo Sr. did the same thing. He said the dream fight for his son is Devin Haney in the next couple years. So what's your take on that? Yeah, respectfully, I think that with all of them, they know that, that, that their big fight, you know, and all the roads leads through through Devin, you know, and um, it's just a you know great place for us to be in, you know what I mean, as a team, Devin as a fighter, with the skill set that he he possesses, we're not scared of none of them, bring them all. To me, it just it just gives me goosebumps, man, just, who just thinking about it, you know, just T.O. And, and Devin, you know, in 2021. But like I said, man, if he if he doesn't want to get it on, man, I get just as, just as squeamy and queasy about those other fights now, you know. It's just a great time to be part of uh, the Devin Haney team. Yeah, so if it doesn't happen in 2021, you know, Devin Haney came out recently and said that Teofimo is just blowing smoke to brainwash the fans with all this email talk because he was the one that petitioned for the WBC French Fire title. So if the fight doesn't happen, was, was Teo just blowing smoke because he recognized the talent Devin is? Well, Tio, Tio has, Tio has some, some really uh, good people, you know what I mean, Hall of Famers that handle his business. And they do a lot of email and stuff over there, you know. So we let, we let the, you know, we let the business be handled, you know, let the fighters get in the ring and do their thing, you know what I mean. And, uh, you know, Devin is ready to go. I mean, we, we've said that, you know, time after time, you know, um, our name is in the hat. That's one of the reasons why Devin is the champion that he is. That's one of the reasons why he gets paid what he gets paid because his name is in the hat for everybody and not just not just uh, uh, tomorrow, not next week, not five years, right now. So all roads, all roads in the lightweight division run through Devin Haney. How did you choose Lomachenko? Because I did not choose him. He requested, Canelo requested, so we send out a vote and we analyze his history. Ooh, Canelo and Lomachenko requested? Absolutely. Ooh, he just made headlines. Lomachenko. <laughs> he just made headlines. Lomachenko, uh -huh. top rank, requested. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, we analyze the request. Uh -huh. Top of the top. Find the franchise belt. Can you define it? The franchise is not a belt. It's not a championship. It's a designation given to elite unique fighters who carry the industry of the sport of boxing. Canelo Alvarez and Lomachenko are two sensational fighters who carry the industry. One fight, what is the mega fight in the sport? Teofimo Lopez versus who in a couple of years or next year? I don't even know. Devin Haney? I would say Devin Haney. Um, 
who would you like to fight out of there are obviously some attractive options there at lightweight who would you like to fight the most um i don't mind being the two-time email world champion you know what i mean uh that'd be fine you know i know a lot of people are already saying that this is not for undisputed because of that uh, whatever with uh, Mauricio Suleiman and whatever he did, but I just got a belt that said franchise franchise world champion. So from the WBC, um, and you got a guy like Devin Haney fighting Gamboa, a washed out Gam Gamboa, just for a record that he wants to keep it safe and pretty. Um, I can fight those guys. I don't mind it. Do, do you think Haney would fight you next, assuming he beats Gamboa? I don't care. I don't think any of these guys will step up to the plate. And if they do, they better be ready, because. Um, I don't fear no man. I told you guys this. I don't care. I'm in there to fight. And if you're not there to fight with me, you're going to lose. Thank like you. Like Loma. Like, if I take that fight, it's just for bragging rights, just to shut him up and destroy his career. That's really what it is. I don't care. Um, that's the type of person I am. Um, I ain't here to... Uh, I'm not here to see another fighter build up his career. If he wants to take that step and fight, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, more than happy to just take him out that that route of what everybody's talking about saying the next floyd mayweather and stuff like that yeah get out of here um with that bullshit um um tfimo lopez is the, the one with the rest of the belt so that's the main fight that i want to make happen <laughs>